I was asleep on my bed after taking 8 tablets as prescribed by the doctor not realizing that it was 8 per day not 8 at once I experienced a sort of light sleep culminating with the sensation of breaking into a million particles I could sense that my body was still on the bed and I was sort of above it but only just it was a sensation of separation from the physical body but still being fully aware of my essence during the stage my aura as I will call it was intermingling with a friend who was asleep next to me on my bed I was communicating with the aura of my friend who was beside me it was like our auras were a culmination of all our many lives and experiences since being on earth in the beginning of time from the caveman days to now I could tell which gene pool he stemmed from and also my own as my friend was only sleeping I took this as a sort of force field that we all have something that we all are connecting with amongst each other even if we don't realize it I was then flown around the world at a great speed it was pulling me around by my solar plexus region I had nobody at this stage but I'm still a soul and I also know this one my journey around the earth had reached above Indonesia as I was flying around the equator it was sort of like looking at a Google Earth map I was sucked into a tunnel although it didn't have sides so to speak just a feeling that I was being drawn up to the next level I was greeted by a light being although I don't remember flying into a light as such I knew the soul and was guided around the place I was shown rooms and doorways mostly which contain other souls learning things and preparing for their return to earth or wherever their next journey was to be I also saw souls who I would call angels or higher beings they were helping earthlings with many problems even medical discoveries I was taken to many different levels by this friend and learned that anything is possible in this place I can remember most of the levels as each one seemed more complex than the last but I do remember the lower levels so to speak I'm sure I was taken to higher places but I'm not to remember these places as my life here would be affected I think there may be about seven or possibly more but have a basic memory of about three or four I was taken before God who was just as I imagined a bright light being so brilliant it was like I'd never seen yet we had met before with a human form but nobody so to speak approximately 8 feet tall and made from pure love and light we communicated telepathically and every question I had was answered although I don't remember exactly what I asked I was shown a movie of my life from the start until then it was so fast and yet so precise I was asked if I would change anything and I answered yes of course he also asked me questions too like was I happy with my life to which I replied that I was I was left with a feeling inside as to how much good I'd given and how much bad I'd given I was told this would be the feeling I'd be left with whilst there my feeling was not bad it was not extremely great either it was a slightly nervous feeling but one that I could be satisfied with I'm imagining that if you were mean and awful throughout your life that that is the feeling you would be left with whilst transitioning to the next place even though this place was so wonderful and sort of felt like home and most people could never imagine nor want to leave I asked if I could go back to earth God asked me why and I told him that my kids were asleep in the next room and I would never forgive myself if they had to wake in the morning and find their mom dead the previous year their father had committed suicide and if they had to grow up with a mom who had a drug overdose and a dad who committed suicide then they would think that no one loved them enough to be around which was so far from the truth my every particle was aching with this thought I was allowed to come back there was no begging or pleading it was like it was what I wanted so much and unselfish that I had it given to me I'm so thankful for that I was told that if I was to come back I would have to forget what I had learned on the other side as it would interfere with my life I was sent back so quickly through the soles of my feet and awoke a few hours later that does it for Linda's experience moving right along into Nevi's experience it was my birthday and my parents let me have a small party one of my girlfriends was staying the night my parents went out to dinner and I decided that I was a teenager and wanted to try drinking alcohol like my father did I filled up a tall glass with gin held my nose and consumed all of it the equivalent of at least 15 shots of straight alcohol I quickly became disoriented and then fell unconscious my sister and my friend put me in my bed and when my parents came home and went in to check on me my mother noticed I wouldn't wake up at this point they told me they tried to carry me to the car my father was so mad he wouldn't help and I was at this point dead weight this is the point when I remember lifting out of my body and floating midair over my body which was lying on the dining room floor I left my body I was no longer intoxicated I was completely clear and could see everything at once I realized that I was almost dead and became very upset and began to cry for Jesus to help me at this moment I was aware of 
a light enveloping me I was the light and it was me there was another being with me the being let me know that I was going to die and that I must leave this body for good I remember arguing with the being explaining that I didn't want to because it was so hard going through the childhood years and I didn't want to have to go through this again the being indicated that my body was severely damaged and I couldn't go back I became very adamant at this point that God was all powerful and could fix the body at some point the decision was made to let me re-enter my body on my faith or will whatever one may call it the next phase was like an evaluation I was taken back through my past beginning with my birth and we went over what had already happened then I was shown an overview of key points in my life that were to come one of these key experiences was that I would have a child at a very early age and it would be a boy it was explained to me that from this point forward I would do everything earlier than most including my older sister I would marry first bear children first and generally have more responsibility than my sisters and other friends and family members I was told that I will soon leave my church and have a short period of rebellion and drug experimentation but this would end fairly soon and I would begin to climb out of it I was told that I was going to be a writer and that my words would touch many people I was instructed to write a book on or around the age of 40 and that after I had fulfilled my life plans I would eventually die before my two sisters all of a sudden I opened my eyes and I was in a hospital bed in the intensive care unit the preacher from my church was there praying for me I thought at this point that I had died when I saw him there with my mother who was crying I gradually woke up and asked what had happened my mother said I had been in a coma for three days and I had almost died